up witches this is 90 Yermit. welcome to my channel and today i'm gonna talk to you about uh, an interesting subject in the, um, the online esoteric community community let's just put it that way so by looking at what i have in front of me maybe you can guess what i'm gonna talk about and it's a very fascinating subject <laughs> Just to let you know how many things I have. And it's gonna be the DV subject. The Reen Virtue, obviously. Um, have you heard of people who have uh, brain tumors? People who have brain tumors, they, they're known for um, halluc seeing hallucinations sometimes. It depends. It depends where the tumor is. It depends how how it presents. But they say something and then they forget they say it. They sometimes have difficulties with social skills or things like that. Or they, they change their mind or they they have different opinions suddenly or some on something. And why I'm saying that, I'm just saying that because I'm really trying to find an explanation on what happened. You know what I mean? Um, imagine if, if, um, Esther Hicks would wake up one day and be like, there's no Abraham, 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 there's no Abraham, Abraham is, is the devil or something, you know, imagine if she would wake up one day and everybody would be like, whoa, you're channeling the devil or something. So this is what happened with, uh, DV. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I really don't know because there's a lot. And I'll be honest, I liked, from her books, what I liked is the fact that she was um, kind of, the way she wrote was usually in a very gentle way and it was easy to read. And her explanations were quite... Um, nice and gentle so i like that about her and i even saw her she came to montreal i don't remember when i think it's 2012 and i had the ticket a while ago from one of her conferences i don't think i have the ticket anymore so i paid it was 250 canadian dollars for her conference and i was a little bit disappointed i was a student at the time and she didn't give any new material on the conference she just um said everything that she already wrote in her books and the only thing that i liked about her conference was her son charles by the way has anybody heard of him what's happening to him her son charles one was grant who was really into like magic avalon and knights but the other son was uh, Charles, and Charles was, was teaching about angels with her, right? And he was teaching that day on the conference, he was teaching uh, a part of the conference about Archangel Nathaniel, which I actually enjoyed. It was very interesting what he was saying, and it was new information. But everything that Doreen said on that conference was basically everything that I already uh, read in her books. So this is the book that I went to the conference with. And I have it signed. There was a huge line. See, that's the wrong side. Or no, here. So this is her, her signature. She signed my book. There was a huge line to sign the book. And like she wasn't offering any readings. And she's like, if you guys want to read one. If you guys want readings, you can go to. Uh, she was with somebody, Melissa. You can go to Melissa. So this is another book that I have by her and look at this behind she's like in Stonehenge I think her picture like wow complete change right what I liked about her decks yes it was very similar one deck to the other it was quite similar it's true but I really like the quality of some of her decks I specifically like that the edges were always nice and shiny, most of the decks. 
and I did like the art a lot on some of the decks. Which one can I show you as an example? Um, as an example, I, it's the unicorn deck that I really like, but I don't even have it in this pile. So I'm gonna show you the fairy ones, which is not bad too. I have the French version of her fairy deck. And I did like some of the pictures. It's usually nice and sweet. And I like the art. But obviously she didn't make the art, it was made by some artists. And I'm wondering what's happening to the Radley Valentine, if I pronounce his name correctly. The person who is on all her tarot decks. I wonder what's happening with him now. Because he's kind of trying to give classes and everything while she is um, kind of contradicting all that, right? This is also by him. Tarot. Well, all her tarot decks, which can kind of be used as oracle decks, right? Because they don't really look like tarot, if you know what I mean. It's interesting, but you can use it as an oracle more. So I still don't know what I'm going to do with all of that. Because a part of me is just a little bit disgusted by keeping all that at home. Because I don't use them every day. But I really like, for example, the unicorn deck. I really like the art on it. And I just love the art. And the relationship deck is quite nice. If anybody has a relationship oracle deck, um, another one that can be used in relationship uh, readings, can you please um, write a comment or something? Because so far I only found this one, which is like a deck that's nice to pull a card to complement your tarot reading with or something like that. And it is, I'd say it is relatively accurate. So, so far, I had good experience with this deck. Then I also have her past life deck, which I'm crazy about past life. So I bought this deck, but so-so for the accuracy. So I'm still thinking I might keep one or two, but a part of me is just like discard everything. All those some things that she wrote and the research that she has on different psychological um, psychological diagnosis or the things she recommends it does make sense so it just one part of me feels bad to discard it and one part of me is like maybe I'll use it one day and maybe I'll reread it or maybe I'll need it but the other part of me is like man no it's just too weird also, this book about mermaids. There's not a lot of books about mermaids. That, but Actually, I don't know. Maybe there is. But it just feels so nice. I haven't read that book even. But she talks about Atlantis. She talks about different things. Which is now like, whoa. And now she's denying all of it. It's kind of hard. So basically, um, that was my discussion and my ideas on the DV situation and um, let me know what you guys think and as for everything we all have different opinions on things and thank you for being respectful and respecting everybody's opinion thank you